Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in, especially on this terrible, terrible, terrible night. What a mess. What a freaking mess. A joke of a franchise. A joke. After one week, all-star break, relaxing, game planning, supposedly gearing up for a second half of season. This team just again, a lifeless performance, two times in a row. What a garbage performing. You cannot say enough. Get a freaking hit. One hit shut out yesterday, three hits today. You can't produce any offense whatsoever. What an embarrassment, an embarrassment. They have no superstars in this team. They have no stoppers, no pitchers that can go out there and shut us and shut the other team out. Justin Verlander, $43 million wasted. That's how you waste $43 million. Tonight, Kodai Sanger, okay, decent performance, but the offense is completely lifeless. Two games in a row, two games. And there's not, like I said, there's not one damn superstar in this team that can pull this offense together. You need a superstar. A superstar is somebody who pulls the offense together when we are down, when we need that performance. I, 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 I can't believe it. I'm going through the lineup. I, I can't even salvage anything, anything that we can be proud of. It is just horrible. Here I am, um, I, know, I know you noticed a different background, I'm on vacation, I'm trying to have a little good time, I, I can't keep stop tuning, looking at my phone, please score a, a run, please get a hit, please put a rally together, this Dodgers series is so important, do they care about the fans? Uh, you know, I heard Buck, Buck Show Walter last month make a comment like, oh, I hope these guys are going to stay together. I hope these guys are going to stay together. Well, you know what? The team does not care about us. They don't care at all. At all. All right? This is supposedly a professional major league team. They can play a lot better. Don't let them fool you. Don't. They just don't care. Right, and I'm upset about I'm upset with guys that I think should care, like Pete Alonso and you know supposedly Francisco Lindor. You were snubbed. You were having a good uh, a good couple games before the All Star game. Well, what happened now? You know, guys are disappearing left and right. This is just inexcusable. I don't care who they play. I don't care if the Dodgers are supposed to be better. I don't care. You have the highest payroll in Major League. History, Major League history, okay? <sighs> All right, I mean, I was not even going to do a video tonight because like I said, I'm on vacation, but I, I keep tuning in. I'm looking at, you know, the, the Mets box score and I, I just can't believe it. I, I cannot believe it. You know, at least try, at least come to the ballpark and try. Okay, yeah, if you would have lost, it would have been a heartbreaking loss. Um, you know, that's fine, but... This is unacceptable, unacceptable, unacceptable. So where do we go from here? Where do us fans go? We have no superstars in the team. We got we got no pitching. We got like really no minor leaguers like that are coming up for pitching in the future. Really, not, none in the near future, maybe two years um, down the road, but nothing that I can really foresee. You know, we got a couple good hitters. So where do we go from here? Okay, I say, you know what? And I have, this is where I have to apologize. I have to apologize to Met fans, baseball fans, whoever has been nice enough and kind enough to follow me, watch my videos. And, you know, if you can, if you'd be so kind to continue to like and subscribe, uh, you know, to follow the channel, I, I cannot thank you enough. Um, I, I have to apologize because I was fooled in the beginning of July. I know, I knew in June that this the right thing was to blow it up, but they kind of sucked me in. I'm like, okay, you know what? I saw glimpses of the 101 game, uh, 101 winner team in the beginning of this month, and I'm like, okay, you know what? Maybe they're finding, maybe they're gonna put a run together and, you know, add a couple pieces at the deadline. And who knows? Who knows? Whoever gets in a playoff, sometimes it's a crapshoot. Other teams, you know, they get injured, you know, two of the 
three best players get injured. You never know what happens. You just never know. But I was being silly. I was being naive. I was being stupid. They have to sell. Sell anything of value. For any pending free agents are automatically gone. Tommy Pham, David Robertson, whoever is it, the pending free agent, Marcana, sell them all, sell them all. Verlander, Scherzer, whoever you can get anything for. McNeil, get the hell out of here. Get your $50 million and now you can't even play baseball? You can't even play baseball. Now, how do you go from winning the batting title to this? Batting title to this. It just tells you it's all about money. All about money. You know, these guys could not care less. Care less. You know, I, I, I'm, like I said, I'm watching highlights of this. It's, it's a team that does not care. It's, I, I'm playing for an owner who's giving me more money than I could have gotten from anybody. And I'm just going to take the money. I'm going to take the money and run. Okay. So, yeah. So, you know, and, and I'm very frustrated. Me and, you know, my wife, we just drove all the way from New York to Florida. You know, we're tired. You know, we want to get some sleep. We want to get some rest. And, you know, my wife's got to deal with me screaming about the Mets. Unfortunately, Mets fall. Blame it on them. Oh, man. Funny thing is, before, <laughs> before, before, we, I'm trying to do a video and, uh, you know, I open the back door and there's, you know, we're in Florida right now and a, a lizard just runs in the, in the, uh, in the, in the room <laughs> and it climbs up onto the ceiling. The ceiling's over here, like 20 foot high. So there's a, there's a, there's a lizard on, on my ceiling. You know, I don't know if they kind of jump on you when you're in bed or anything like that, but you know, I, that's the least of my problems right now as a Met fan, the least of my problems. So, I mean, the only solace I have right now is, like, we are all into this together. I mean, like, unfortunately, all of us Met fans are suffering. Um, you know, to go from a 101 game winner to this. 101 games to this. That's, that's what I think bothers most Met fans. You know, it's not like... You know, we had a stumbling block. We were growing. You know, we literally went from a team projected to have a good shot of winning the World Series to bums. To bums. You know, it's just, it just hurts. I mean, like, how does, why does this consistently always happen to Met fans? Really? I mean, like, not, you know, okay, yeah, there's good and bad fans in every fan base, but I love all my Met fans. I really do, you know? Um, you know, everybody I've met have been, like, so kind, you know, beautiful people. Um, I don't know why, like, you know, all of us have to suffer. It's just like ridiculous. You know, it, one, one of these days, one of these years, it seems like just by luck, by luck, we have to have that team that wins the World Series. It's been 37 years now. So, I mean, we are due. I, you know, I really thought when Steve Cohen says we had that five-year window, I really, I was jumping for joy. I was jumping for joy. I'm like, oh, we're going to win now. We're going to win. But... No, no, you know, so, you know, that, that's what I got for you today. Um, I was like very frustrated. You know, if you could drop a comment, like, let me know how you feel. You know, I, like I said, I, we got to blow this team up, you know, um, you know, like I said, we drove all the way up here from New York to Florida and tune into my Mets and hope I was hoping to see that we're doing better, but we are doing horrible. So thank you so much for tuning in. Um, hopefully you have a great day. You know, I, I know you, you know, your night's got to be better than this. <laughs> have a great day. You know, let's go get, let's go Mets. Um, you know, let's get some good value on these trades. Can't get any worse. Definitely probably will. Cause that's the way this season's been going, unfortunately. Well, thank you again for tuning in. Have a great day. Later.